Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this section, we will talk about the success stories of some of the most accomplished African entrepreneurs. There is an abundance of amazing business opportunities in Africa and our goal is to inspire you in your own entrepreneurial journey. But before we start, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to click the bell icon to be notified for future videos. In today's video, we will talk about Geraldine Vavois, who does the business of events on African culture. Born in 1986 in Kokodi, an affluent commune in the center of Abidjan, to a father formerly a businessman converted into the pastorate and an Ivorian Lebanese mother working in journalism, she dreams of having different professional futures, like most children and adolescents, including professions with no synergy between them such as saleswoman, doctor, and especially flight attendant. Moreover, his father's professional obligations led him to travel and complete his high schooling in several countries, Cameroon, Burkina Faso, France, Togo, etc. This reinforces her choice to follow this path, especially since one of her aunts herself worked as a flight crew within an airline and her uncle works as an airline pilot. However, she returned to Abidjan with her mother, where she obtained a literary bicolaterate in 2003 at the Lycée Notre Dame de la Paix du Plateau. A true globetrotter, always eager for knowledge, experience, and new adventures, this passionate about long distance running and boxing continues to travel the world. English development at the prestigious University of the Witwatersrand in Johannesburg, intern at the advertising agency Draft FCB in Dakar. A few years later, she settled down again in France to follow a university course in the field of communication. The result is a cultural mix that gives him the opportunity to master both English and German as well as French, also speaks Iwe, one of the two national languages in Togo. Holder of a master's degree in political and public communication in 2011 and a master's degree in sociology of companies and innovation specializing in skills management in 2012, she must rub shoulders with the realities of the company before setting up her own business. As an employee, she spent most of her career as SNCF, the French group specializing in the fields of passenger transport where she assisted the communication project manager, then later acceded to the same position as of right with the aim of ensuring advertising campaigns. Even if she has a very good memory of it, this experience allows her to identify a need to work in much smaller entities with a more flexible management. During 2015, she partially realized her childhood dream by joining Alizia, an airport service provider, with the only difference that she takes care of customers on the Roycey platform instead of taking care of passengers in the air as she wished. At the same time, Geraldine Vauvoir is fully involved in missions of general interest, particularly within the AFAP, Associations Femmes Africaines et Pauvoir, the OFAD, Organization of African Women in the Diaspora, and one cause of which she is Secretary General, an association that organizes, among others, the election of Miss Cote d'Ivoire, France. His very strong associative commitments make him want to transform his passion into a real profession. At the beginning of 2016, she launched Diaspora Got Talent, a company specializing in the organization of Afro brunches gourmet and convivial lunches while honoring an African country through animations such as fashion shows, music, comedy, and gastronomy, a way to make the general public understand that there are peculiarities and specificities of each of the 54 African countries and not an African culture uniform. The first initiatives in this direction, dedicated successfully to Côte d'Ivoire, Cameroon, and Angola, took place a few months ago in Paris near the Champs-Élysées and were welcomed positively by visitors, with a high audience peak for the theme around his country of birth. The success is such that individuals and companies, all domiciled in Paris region, now call on his services. 
despite the fear expressed by relatives, friends, and acquaintances that their prodigy will find themselves overwhelmed by a large amount of work, many support her in her entrepreneurial adventure, like a family member who holds responsibilities in an investment fund for Africa, Kusuntu Partners, thus supporting her in structuring her project. With the know-how and experience acquired in terms of events, it plans to launch a box food for gourmets who are looking for an authentic African gastronomic experience. The concept consists of sending each member each month a package filled with an assortment of ingredients to make the African recipe of the month and other objects according to a country honored. These culinary boxes, called Fufu Box, will be delivered to your home or to a relay point indicated by customers. As African cuisine is becoming more and more trendy, Geraldine Vavor intends to surf on the success of Diaspora Got Talent to give the continent's gastronomy its letters of nobility. So guys, this concludes the video about Geraldine Vavor. If you also have an idea or you want to start your business, click on the link below this video to join our accelerated training in digital marketing. Give us a boost and see you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling.